Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well today we have a fun little workout that I just created today. It is called Single Double Hold and it is a purely arm crusher. Now we do have some fun plyo box moves to do at the end. But if you don't have a plyo box, don't even worry about it. You can just sub with your favorite plyometric moves right on the ground. So this workout is gonna be fun because we're gonna do a single arm move. Then we're gonna do an immediate double arm drop set of the same move. And then we're gonna do an isometric version of that move, okay? We're gonna do that for each circuit, each upper body muscle group. And we're gonna repeat those circuits two times a piece. So your arms will be toast after this. And if they're not, go heavy. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this workout is of course your can-do attitude strap right on. You're gonna need some water, your weights. I'm gonna use a BOSU for the chest press part just to get more of a range of motion. You could use a bench or not use any of that at all and do just fine. I'm gonna use my plyo box for our little plyometric fun and we even have a little app crusher at the end. So I think this will leave you anything but bored, but let me know if it doesn't, okay? So when you are all ready with all your stuff, I'll see you back here to warm up those arms for our single double hold upper body workout. See you in a second. All right, guys, let's get that upper body warmed up with a really good warm up. That's a lot of warm ups in one sentence. We're just gonna start by rotating those arms. Let's reverse. Circle forward. Breathe deep. Be thankful deep for the amazing body that's about to do this. Reverse. So we squeeze the back and we make these reverse circles. Not sure why I'm standing so wide. <laughs> Good. Alright, while we're standing wide, let's go ahead and Work on our legs a little bit too, and our torso. So we're gonna just gently bend those knees, reach side to side, twisting each way. I'm so excited because I bought myself a little plyo box. My little guy is working on his vertical jump stand. So I bought this one. And it's from a company that I've never heard of. It's called Papa Babe. I'm like, mm, I can dig that. That's cool. And I love the colors. And you can turn it three different ways. And it's three different heights, which is awesome. All right, let's do some rear lunges. Opening up the chest here. Slow up the shoulders. Warming up those leggies. Leggies such a technical term. Last one. All right, let's do some push-ups. I want to do them on our knees first. Okay, we're going to go wide. We're going to go narrow. elbows are always tracking back. I see a lot of girls especially do a push-up like this and there's so much wrong with that. That could hurt your shoulders and that will not help you get those gains baby when you do your push-ups, okay? Now we're going to just stretch back as we do standard push-ups. Stretch them out. Sometimes we forget about our toes. Do one more. Good. Now I want us to just work on those ankles for a minute and our knees and get them ready to work. This always reminds me of an old lady dancing. I don't know why. Alright, other way. I forgot I had my washing machine on. That was probably fun to hear. Luckily, that's kicking off right now. And 
motorcycle. Good. Open up our hips. We're going to need those hip flexors to be awake when we get on that fella later. About 20 more seconds. Inhale and exhale. Look up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Alright guys, your warm-up is complete. I want you to get a good drink of water, get your waist all set up, and we're going to start with some bicep curls, okay? See you in just a second. Alright guys, I'm ready. Are you ready? We are starting with bicep curls. We're going to do them single arm. I'm going to use 20 pounds per hand. We've got 20 seconds before I have to get started. I just left my old socks on. I thought that'd be fun. We have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're doing single arm curls. That. We're doing single arm curls first. Then we're going to do some drop set curls. And then we're going to do some hammer curls with a hold. Okay? So, keeping the elbows tight. seconds to go. I'm in quarantine right now because I was exposed to COVID, but I've tested negative. But my doctor thought I might have tested too early, so I'm still staying away from everyone. And it was so hard because my son had a basketball tournament today, but I got to see it via FaceTime, at least part of it, which was good. All right, now we're ready to drop those weights. Not literally, but do some drop sets. I'm going to use 15 for that. Just 10 more seconds. Now we're going to do some drop set curls. So I've dropped by about 5 pounds. You will definitely feel it. Even though you dropped that weight. Mm -hmm. 80 seconds of curls is a long time. <laughs> We're using double arms now. You can always do single if you need to. But next, we're going to do holds. So while one arm is working, the other arm will be holding. I've got a hair on my face. <laughs> sure, that's not real professional, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Shoulders down and back. Now the hair is on my dumbbell. This hair does not want to leave me. Okay, got through that. So, you can either keep those same weights, I'm probably keep my 15s. As you hold one, curl the other, okay? It is not going to be fun, <laughs> but it's going to be worthwhile to do. Like most hard things, they're kind of worth it. So, one's going to hold, one's going to come up. And it's going to hold. So no arm truly gives any rest here. And curl and hold. You could just hold this whole time. Whatever floats your boat. Very good. Oh, we're back to the beginning. Awesome. <laughs> Feel like I might need to make this when I drop this. Make sure you shake those arms out. Make sure you stretch them out dynamically. Just messed up my little, little time inside there. All right, here we go. Single arm curls. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Make sure to keep those wrists nice and strong. Don't let them get floppy. Slow down on the way down. Eccentric motions are where the magic happens. Eccentric just means lengthening. Oh, keep that core in tight. Especially if you're quarantined. Oh, almost there. Two, one. Oh, very good. All right, we're dropping. Good times. I'll tug you 
became a friend with Kevin, I think. Four seconds. I gotta get rid of this hair. All right, here we go. Single arm curls or hammer curls. No, we're supposed to be doing double. Sorry. This is our drop set. Feels so heavy. I thought it was doing my first move again. Almost halfway there. Already sweating. What about you? You could always do your standard curl here too. Or half and half. We're just trying to kill those biceps right now. Two more. Three. Two. One. Very good. All right now we're gonna hold and curl. Stretch them out. We have shoulders to do after this. There we go. 15 for me again. So hold one. Ugh. Hold the other. Don't frown because it's hard. Smile because you can. My last video, pretty sure it was the one I made that Aruba wrote. I noticed when I was editing, I made the funniest strain faces. Oh my gosh. But I definitely knew I was working hard. that timer we're going to go into some shoulder moves okay so I'm going to do single arm shoulder presses and then I'm going to follow that up with some drop set shoulder presses and then I'm going to do an Arnold hold and press so should be a good time you could also do just a hold this way and press okay oh, should be fun should be taxing let's go I'm going to use 20 for the shoulder press, and I'll use 15 for the drop set shoulder press and the Arnold holding press. I'll probably do the 15s as well. Alright, you can sit doing these if you want. That'll keep you from using your body for momentum. Here we go. Fun yet. I've tried to get a different angle on my camera. This room is kind of a little bit of a hard configuration because we do just about everything in here. I've got a little table that we eat in, eat at, and I've got another little reading nook in the corner and a window. So it's kind of hard to put the camera in a super good spot for our multi-purpose room here. All right, now we're taking our lighter weights doing an immediate drop set with those shoulder presses. Good time. I did a wicked shoulder workout the other day and I'm still feeling it. It's amazing. When you really work hard, you'll feel it. So we got a double arm shoulder press. I'm using 15. seconds. Woohoo! Burning already. Step that foot back if you're starting to arch. Don't do that to yourself. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Alright, we'll do some Arnold's from down here. Seated. Whew. Stretch out that upper back. Stretch out those shoulders. One thing that's been good about this quarantine is that I've gotten to record a lot more. So we're going to hold. Maybe one arm for 20 seconds. We're going to do the other arm. 
for 20 seconds. Ooh. Getting all the other. Oh, man. That's nice. <laughs> Arnold presses work our lats as well as our shoulders, so they are absolutely more bang for your buck. Mm. I wonder who came up with the name Papa Babe. <laughs> All right, here we go. Knowing my look, it's like something gross. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Papa Babe. And people are like, you're not supposed to say that out loud. You can also do these hammer style if totally and fully externally rotating your shoulder bugs you. I get it. <sighs> A little bit of an isometric hold here. Mm. Grunting. Ooh. I gotta shake mine out a little bit. Keep going. Very nice. Immediate drop set. And then I'll look. Breathe through it. Know that it's not forever. We have our back next. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing two arms here. What am I thinking? I should keep those shoulders down and back. I don't want you to shrug, but make sure that the scapula are really pointed. Kind of down and up at the same time. So they're down here, but the bottom is up. So you can stack that shoulder correctly. Good. Arnold with a hold. <laughs> so one arm is going to be moving, the other arm is going to be not moving, and both arms are going to be unhappy, but it's just for 40 seconds. to go 10 seconds into our other rest. <laughs>
you want to add more sets to these circles, circles, circuits, you have my blessing. When you're in this plank, trying to lift a heavy weight, come down here until you get the strength from your core and your back to come up on this chest, okay? I like to keep my legs wide with these. Good. All right. Now we're going to be in a chair pose. And we're going to hold one and row the other, which is bleh, but we're going to get through it and it's really good for us. Oh yeah, party time. Other side. Why not hold one and row one? What else would you be doing right now? Oh man. Good. One of my weights set up for the single arm rows. This is fun. It keeps us going. All right, here we go. Pick up rows. Squeeze. Lower slowly. Ooh, that's the trick. Ah. Tempo is a serious factor in increasing strength. Slowing that down. On the way down. Makes the move so much more challenging. Makes your muscles have to struggle a lot more to get it done. All right. Struggle makes us strong. Ease makes us soft. <laughs> Although sometimes it would be nice to have a little more ease, but that's okay. subject somebody else to the same pain, then they made us stronger. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Ready? Alright, the worst one ever. Do the hold. Seconds on this side. Four, 
three, two, one, hold it. your back. Four, three, two, one. Mm. Very good. All right. Pause for just a second. We're going to go into some chest. Okay. We have single arm chest presses. I was going to get out my BOSU for this, but I have buried it under a lot of things that I had to push over to make this space clear. So we're just going to do it on the ground. I'm just going to do it on the ground. We're moving on to drop set chest presses after we do those single arm chest presses. And then we will do a standing chest press hold and press. So one's here, one's there, okay? It's going to be brutal. That's an awful move. So just know that that's going to be the yuckiest part of this whole entire circuit, okay? So for single arm chest presses, I'll use about 30 per hand. As a drop set, chest presses, probably go down to 20, and then for those awful, awful, awful standing chest presses, I will most likely go down to 10, if that, okay? So you have 20 seconds, and here we go. Take a drink. Start with both up and just alternate. Here we go. Squeeze that chest, be deliberate about the lowering of that arm. Hold your breath. Very good. In my 20 seconds, I'm going to be readjusting my weights, lowering them for my drop set. Less than 10. Try to squeeze at the top. Even if you have to take a pause. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Going down to 10. Hoping that will be light enough for this awful, awful move. <laughs> anything else in this circuit. Okay, so they're up. Going to 20 on one side. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. core, fight through. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Ah, okay. That was awful, but at least it's over. We're going back to our single arms and our higher weights. Real 
we'll get through this. We've gotten through a lot worse together. All right. Here we go. I hope you can actually see me. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can. Think about your chest. When you think about your chest, it thinks there's a party getting started. So it calls all of its chest muscle friends and invites them. So when all those motor units get used to being recruited, we get a strong and powerful muscle contraction, which leads to strong and powerful muscles. Good. All right. Pulling carefully, get up. I'm going to drop down to 20. How are you guys doing? <sighs> Probably looking forward to the plyo box torture that we're going to do after you're feeling how these feel in your old arms. Eight seconds. Then we just have those standing vertical chest presses. Oh, boy. All right. Get our waist ready one more time. I don't think I'll mind if I miss a few seconds or lose a few seconds on this. I won't tell if you won't. All right. Unfortunately, I did that nice and efficiently. Okay, I'm going to start holding on this arm this time. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Think about how strong you're getting. Five, four. Three, two, one. The other one. Oh man. Wow. Less than ten. Oh, take it out if you need to. Not worth getting hurt over. Two and one. Very nice. All right. Take a break. I'm going to get our intervals back to where they should be, and we have triceps to do now. Alright, so for our triceps, we're going to be doing single arm skull crushers, okay? Then we're going to be doing drop set skull crushers. Then we're going to be doing tricep push up holds, okay? So maybe a tricep push up and then a hold, or holding the hold the whole time. <laughs> Whatever works for you. I'm going to start my skull crushers with 15s, I think, and then I'll go down to 12s or 10s. I'm going to keep everybody close by just to make sure. And off we will go. Alright, got my two 10s. We'll just see what we need to do here, okay? All right, you have 20 seconds. I kind of like this camera setup because I can come and get close to you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. All right, get down. I'm going to grab my 15s. You grab what works for you. Don't forget how strong you are. Hoping I'm back far enough that you can see me do it. All right, so skull crushers, remember. We have a very stationary elbow. We're just moving. We have a very stationary shoulder. We're just moving at the elbow. Lowering the weight to our ears. Really trying to isolate those triceps. Good. All right. 
going to tie these with 12, and I may have to go down to 10 before it's all said and done, okay? We're going to do double arm skull crushers. You can do more sets of these, more variations, if you'd like. Three, two, one. So we got two now. 40 seconds of just skull crushers with a lighter weight. Lock those elbows in place. 15 to go. Now you're going to be really fun. <laughs> you could also do dips for your third move and just hold them up in that position or halfway down in that position. Alright. I'm going to do these on my weights, I think. And we have a tricep push up and then a tricep push up hold. Or you could just hold it the entire 40 seconds. I'm going to leave that up to you since I haven't given you much choice and much else for this workout, okay? So you can do a tricep push up and then hold. Two, three, four, five, and push up again. And then hold. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Push up. Hold. Two, three, four, five. This is fun. Hold. Two, three, four, five, and hold. Good job. Oh my. That was a doozy. Okay. Let me know what you did, whether you held it or held it and then did a push-up or just held it in high plank. Whatever you did is great because you're challenging yourself. You're doing it to the level that you have found yourself at, not trying to do what somebody else is trying to do. Oh, these are feeling extra heavy this round. As always, please don't literally crush your skull. If you're feeling the weights slipping away from you or they're just too heavy, your arms are about to collapse. Better to be safe than sorry. Oh, yeah. Party time. Oh, okay. Put those weights down. I'm going to grab my 12. You can also make this drop set harder if your weights are super duper too light by just changing the position of your palms, doing some mechanical drop sets. Okay, it's three seconds. Here we go, second set of these. Twenty seconds to go. Doesn't feel like much of a drop set after all that, does it? So much fatigue. Two. Nope, that was an eight, not a two. Or a three. Whew. Good. Ugh. So, again, you have the option of doing some dips. Okay? You can come to your sturdy elevation and hold like this. You can hold like this. Okay. Alright, so if you're going to do these dip holds, I would do one dip, and then hold here, then hold here, two, three, four, five, then hold here, two, three, four, five, and hold here, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to do that, do that, and go back to the push-up. There we go. Two, three, four, five. Good. Oh, all done with triceps, guys. All
all done with upper body lifting, unless you want to add some more rounds. Now, what I need you to do is take a nice drink, get your box out if you're going to use a box. If you're not going to use a box, try to figure out what plyo moves you're going to sub for so you have a solid plan going into it. And when we've done all that, we'll come back for our plyo box punisher, okay? I'll be in just a second. All right, guys, time for some plyo box fun. We are starting with some lateral step overs. We're going to do some mountain climbers and push ups. We're going to do explosive step ups. And we're going to do some ace monsters and some step ups and box jumps, okay? So we're going to have 30 seconds per interval here. We're going to run through this circuit two times, and then we may rest and run through it two more times. We'll see, okay? You have 10 seconds before you have to get started. You can do a lateral step up without an explosive jump in the middle, but I'll show you what you can do with one, okay? So I'm using my 20 inch elevation here, so you can just step like this, or you can add a hop. Make sure my ceiling is not too low. Just got a chunk of it to come off. I may not do two explosive in step. Also, do this on your bow suit if you have that, or just right on the floor. Good. All right, mountain climbers times four, two equals one, push up on box, okay? Going yet? One, two, three, four, push up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five seconds. One, two, three, four. Good job. All right, explosive step ups. So, a couple ways you can do this. You can explosively step up on one switch or you can go here and switch at the top. Watch the method. I kind of sort of like it better this way. I hope I'm not shaking you guys too much. Now we're going to do some face monsters. How about that? Okay. You're going to get in a nice plank. Okay. You're going to step it up. You can do just leading with one leg for each interval. So you don't have to switch. A lot of ab work, a lot of leg work. Two step ups, two box jumps. Here we go. Step up, step up. Box jump, box jump. Step up. You can do all box jumps here. That's totally fine. beginning with those lateral step overs. There we go. You can add some speed. Halfway there. A few touchdowns here. You don't have a plyo box. One, 
a few. Three, four. You can add two push ups, whatever floats your boat. Halfway there. I'm going to lead with the opposite foot this time. Here we go. Okay, so I'm doing something like we will rock you. Boom. I'm a big disgrace. Five seconds. Good. All right. Two step ups. Two box jumps. You can probably do these a lot quicker than I can. I'm just afraid of a slippery floor and a low ceiling. I think if I land, that's going to shake you all to pieces. So, let's leave it. But I'm stepping down. Alright, take a minute here. We'll do all that again. Then we'll do some abs. Ten seconds. Lateral step overs. If you're too winded, you can absolutely just step and hop at the top. There we go. Climbers and push ups. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Really drive those knees. Face melters. Face melters are probably my least favorite move in this whole circuit. Alright, here we go. The more comfortable you get with this move, the 
finger used to be. I'm trying to land softly, which slows me down a lot. I just don't want you to get motion sickness from this video. Oh, okay. Face melters. I'm going to leave with my first foot, which is my right foot. Again. Here we go. cardio is fun. The end of your strength is nice way to send it off. You just go for height here or speed. Halfway there. Explosive step up last time, then face melters last time, and then our two and two. You can do this. I'm not giving this my explosive all here because I'm worried about taking our video. You do what I can. So very good. Good face melter on the lead with my left this time. Last time you have to face melt. It'll be okay. Here we go. Let's do 
Two more. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. My timer just shut off. So I'm gonna see if I can get it to come back on. Clear out your space and I'll see you back here for some tab work. Awesome work. All right, guys, I got my iPad charged. You're probably gonna be really sorry that I did. But we are gonna be doing some true Tabata for our abs, okay? Our first move is gonna be a new one to me. It is a V hold with a foot pass through. So you're gonna kind of hold your arms out like this, pass your foot through. If your legs are super long and your torso is super short and that does not work for you, you can always just do a knee tuck, okay? We're gonna alternate sides. And I'll probably put some variations in there just to get us through. Then our next true Tabata set will be side to side toe tap. So that's where we're just like this, working the obliques the whole time. So without further ado, let's hit the mat. I'm going to carefully hit my iPad and start the timer because it's not charging well. Okay, wish me luck. Here we go. You have 10 seconds. So we're going to come down to the mat. We're going to take our arms through and back through. I think I'm going to take my shoes off. <laughs> One leg at a time. Okay? So we're holding. And we're going in and out. Fun, right? Good job. Let's do it the other side. Mm. Take that shoe off. So again, you could just do the knee tuck or just a boat hold. The hard part about this is having to scrunch in that knee and use your abs to do it while you're hovering. This is not pretty, I'm sure. Good. All right. First leg. <laughs> Good times. Are you loving this set? Good times. Hard to balance it, nothing else. But it's not the easy things that make us better. It's the hard things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that fourth one. We only have eight. No big deal, okay? Alright. Hover that foot. You could always plant the heel if you need to. Sometimes it'll send you backwards. One more round. It's going to have us alternate legs as a variation just to keep it light. <laughs> I don't think that would have been any easier. Better to stay on one. <gasps> have you noticed as you get more tired, it's hard to get that leg in and out. All right, one more set a piece. You can do this. Make sure to breathe. seconds and we will start those side side toe taps. There you go. I can feel the 
everywhere. All along my legs, all along my abs. Oh, and you are all done. But stay down here because we have eight more sets of abs before we're all finished with this finisher. <laughs> here we go. This kind of helps massage your back for doing this last move. Making sure our shoulders are slightly off the ground. Good. Breathe it out. Here we go. <laughs> My abs are already cooked. How about yours? Only six more rounds to go. Think about lifting the shoulders up with your chest, not with your neck. Good. Oh, that's burning. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Think about those obliques. Think about them inviting their friend to the side of side toe touch party. I've caught a glimpse of my sign, which says gratitude changes everything. It was a good reminder right then, because I was kind of hating life there for 20 seconds. Here we go. You got this. Maybe this is our fourth one. So we're halfway there. You can, just to Shake things up a little bit. You can touch the insides of your heels instead of the outside. Or you can do two and two. Oh, very good. Number five. <laughs> Aren't you glad we love 10 sets? Because then we'd only be halfway done now. Here we go. True Tabata is truly painful. But it's truly helping you get stronger. So remember that when it's hard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this should be number six. Let's hope it has number seven. Okay. So, three more. Do whatever you can to get through this. Two more. <laughs> Breathe it out. Stretch it out. Here we go. This is almost your last one. You can do this. Keep those shoulders up. Keep breathing. Might as well. Good. <laughs> Last one. Here we go. Get even better range of motion here. Exhale even harder. Squeeze those abs. Squeeze those obliques. Good job, guys. You are all done for today. We're going to stop our timer. We do have a cool down to do. So if you want to dry off a little bit, wipe off a little bit, I'll see you back here for that. Awesome job. All right, guys, let's thank our amazing bodies with a good cool down. All right, let's just come to the mat. Let's start with a dynamic stretch. And we'll hold it. Hold it to one side. Don't collapse into that lower arm. Really lift the chest. You're going to feel so much more here in your obliques and in your lats. A 
other side. down, right hand to the left side of the head, guide the head towards the shoulder. Good. Other side. Good. Make some nice circles. Cactus pose. Release those fingers. Awesome. Right leg under the left leg. Cross it over. Inhale up, exhale and reach forward. Over. Awesome. Inhale up. Exhale up and over. Release that. Inhale up. Bring both of those legs together. Inhale up. Exhale up and over. And release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up. Exhale up and over. guys are all done for today. I hope you're feeling nice and challenged. I hope you're now feeling nice and loose. If you're not, stick on your mat. If you are ready to move on to the rest of your day, then I will see you back up at the camera for your send off. Awesome job. All right, guys. Awesome job crushing my single double hold challenge. I'm wondering if you would like to have one of these for the lower body. I would be happy to make you one if so. Leave me a comment and let me know. And I haven't forgotten about our quarantine challenge. I've just been a little overwhelmed. So maybe in these next few days where I'm stuck at home, I'll be able to write some brutal core workouts for us to help us get amazingly strong while we're stuck at home. Okay? So 
Now, of course, what I need you to do is drink a lot of water today. I need you to get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. I need you to make sure and stretch and foam roll some more if that is what you need. And I need you to make sure to make those next right choices because that, in the end, is what matters. Not one huge big choice, but a lot of little choices that help us love our bodies, appreciate them, and get us rolling toward our goals, okay? Also, something very important is to love those difficult people. If you are stuck at home or stuck with sick people or stuck at work and it's a really weird situation or if you are just stuck inside your head and having trouble loving that difficult person in there, I encourage you to try extra hard this week. There will never be a shortage of difficult people, but there will always be a shortage of love for them. So help balance it out, okay? help give love to those who need it. Other than that, if you haven't checked out our four-week programs for glutes and pipes, please do so at vimeo.com. If you would like some online personal training or nutritional counseling, hit us up at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com. We would love to help you out. Also, just write us there to say hello. We love to hear from you. It's taking me a lot longer to get back to you guys these days because of my other job, which I really hate that that's happening, please know that I'm not ignoring you, that I love you even more than ever, and that I'm trying my best to answer your comments and um, encourage you along the way. But just know I'm cheering you on whether you see me or hear from me or not, okay? Other than that, have an amazing week. Keep being amazing you. Add more rounds to this if you need to. Take some away if you don't. So whether you felt like you had single or double the strength today, or whether you felt like your strength was on hold, you finished, and as always, it is your health today and every day, so you know what you got to do. You better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, an awesome week, and let me know if you would like a single, single, double, hold, lower body workout. I'll see you guys very soon. I'm always proud of you.